Hi, this is Jillian with Design Student Savvy, and today we're going to learn how to print a floor plan to scale from SketchUp. If you have the pro version of SketchUp, then you also have a program called Layout, which where, is where we would traditionally print out construction drawings or orthographic drawings that we've dimensioned and annotated. If you have the free version of SketchUp, SketchUp Make, then these instructions will help you print your orthographic or two-dimensional drawings to scale. Now I have here a very basic two-dimensional floor plan that I created so I could print it out and use it as the starting point for my field measurements. I'm going to switch to the top view, camera standard views top, and now you can see I'm looking at my floor plan from the top down, but I can tell that I'm still in perspective because I can see the z-axis, which is the blue axis, going back in space. And so to flatten this out so it's like an orthographic drawing, we're going to go to Camera Parallel Projection. And now the drawing is flat. The next thing I want to do is create a new printer-friendly drawing style. So I'm going to go to Window Styles. And from the Styles menu, if you're not under Default Styles, you can switch to that in the drop-down. And I am going to select the shaded with textures style and I'm going to go up to where the name is and I am going to change the name to orthographic drawing style. Then I'm going to click the edit button and under this blue box which is the modeling settings I'm going to uncheck model axes and then I'm just going to update the style by clicking on the icon and now when the arrows have disappeared you know that the new style is saved and you can use it again in the future. So I'm just going to minimize that. Now I'm going to create a little bar scale so that when I'm out in the field measuring I have a point of reference for my sketches. So I'm going to just come down here from the bottom, hover over this bottom point, drag my mouse out, click and start dragging up and as I'm dragging I'm going to type 6 comma 6 and hit enter. And then I'm going to draw a 12 inch by 6 inch box, a 24 by 6 inch box, and a 48 by 6 inch box. And I just want to change the color so it looks more like a traditional bar scale. So I'm just going to use the paint bucket to change them to black and white. And then I'm going to click the zoom extends button to fit my entire drawing back in the window. Now, one thing you should know about SketchUp is that when you try to print, it's going to try to print this entire window, including the white space that's surrounding your drawing. So you need to adjust the window by dragging up from the corner until there's as little white space surrounding your drawing as possible, just like that. Then you are going to go to File, Document Setup. And if this Fit View to Page is checked, you want to uncheck that. And then under print scale, you want to change print scale to 1 8 inch under in drawing equals 1 foot in model. And this is really important. You need to click off where it says in model and then it will update the print size. So you can see my drawing is going to print at 7 and 3 quarters by 7 and a half, which is perfect because it'll fit on a letter size sheet of paper. And then I'm just going to click OK. Command P will bring up my print dialog or Control P if you're on Windows. And then you can either save as a PDF or you can print right from here. Here's our drawing perfectly centered on our letter size sheet of paper with our bar scale. Now, if your drawing doesn't fit on the page, you'll want to go to File, Page Setup and maybe change the orientation to landscape and the paper size to tabloid if you have the capability to print at that size. And that would be what my drawing looks like on that new size paper. Or you can also go back to document setup and change the scale to 1 16th or something smaller. And when I hit P, now you can see there's my drawing at 1 16th. 
So that's all you need to know about printing to scale from SketchUp. If you want to see the step-by-step -step directions all written out with screenshots, you can visit www.designstudentsavvy.com slash SketchUp print to scale.